What he won't do for you, somebody else will. Have you all noticed how these modern females are always trying to throw that statement around like that means something, like that's somehow some threat? Yeah, that's like a normal thing for them. But this video, I'm going to explain something that was just revelatory. And I already knew part of this, but one of my subscribers, one of my more active ones, KT, shout out KT, said something that made me like, man, I have to make a video about this because this is perfection, because it goes right with the thing I'm going to say after that. So check this out. This is what he said. He said, quote, it doesn't make sense anyway, because they claim they are the prize and won't chase a man or do for a man. Yet they're willing to travel to another country just to find a man. Goofballs. Why? Because this is what they do. They do a bunch of talking about what they are or aren't going to do. But then you look up and they're willing to do that very thing for someone else, not even in the same vicinity as them. Make that make sense. How is it that you're going to say, I'm not going to chase a man. I'm not going to this. I'm not going to that. And then we look up and you're like, I'm a passport, sis, which doesn't even exist because nobody's checking for you all over there. Not for anything serious. They're just doing what? Pumping and dumping. Isn't it funny how they're willing to do all of that to go over there, but they're not willing to do that here? And that brought me to the part about which I'm speaking. They do the same thing when it comes to their relationships. Think about it. They get into the relationships and they say, OK, I got a man so I can just let myself go. Then they let themselves get 200, 250, 300 pounds. And then when the man says, OK, this is not who I married. I don't want to do this anymore because men like to see things that look good, especially their woman. So what does the man do? Rarely. But let's say he leaves. Right. Then what does she do? She says, it's time for my glow up. Then she starts doing what? All the very things that he was saying she should be doing while they were in the relationship. He asked her like 50 times to do it, but she's like, OK, and then doesn't do it. Or she argues with him about it like he's asking for something ridiculous when he's not. But all of a sudden. She has all the energy in the world to get into the gym, to start buying the right types of food, to start eating right, to start cutting out sugar, carbs, all that stuff. Why is that? It's because modern females do not live in love. They live in defense. Do you understand what I mean by that? See, living in love means that you're going to try to move to keep that love alive. But when you move in defense, the way you move is based on making sure you're not hurt or making sure you don't feel bad. And anybody who hurts you or makes you feel bad, they have to get the wrath. So when you're in the relationship, you're like, hmm, I'm good. I can do whatever I want. I can eat whatever I want. I'm whatever. Then when that man starts talking to these modern females and say, hey, uh, you're not keeping up your end of the bargain all of a sudden. He becomes the enemy. So what does she do? Defense. So she starts fighting against him. Then if he leaves again, rarely, but if he does now, she's like swords up, shields up, drawbridge up. She's like a female. This is Sparta. Have you all noticed that? That was a great observation by my subscriber, KT. Shout out to KT. Y'all go show KT some love. That was fantastic because it tied right in with how they act in relationships in the States. That mess about them not doing something here. I don't want to chase a man here, but they'll chase a man in another country. Unbefreaking leaveable.